Hello, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up modular widget elements inside Unreal Engine. So I have this simple main menu, and because I set it up in a very modular way, if I wanted to change, let's say, the text or the color of the button, it would update it for all of my different buttons. So I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to open up this blueprint, and I want to make it so my button is green. And I want to make it so when I hover on it, my button will be orange. I'll compile and save this. And now I could play. We can see my button is green. When I hover on it, it's orange. And I can also make it so I can easily update the text of all of my um, widget elements. So let me do that. I'll open up this blueprint and I'm going to change my text to be this Metro regular font. I'll compile this and then go play. And you can see it's updated the um, font for all my buttons. Normally, you'd have to manually adjust every single text or button if you wanted to update how it looks. But I'm going to be showing you some very effective techniques which can help you speed up your widget development process and also teach you how to make the widgets in a very modular, dynamic way. So let's get into it. Okay, to get started, we're going to enable something called the Common UI Plugin. This helps us to make modular UI elements. To enable it, just go over to Edit, then go over to Plugins, and then go to Search and look for Common UI. Just make sure to check this box, select Yes, then you need to restart your Unreal Engine Editor for the plugin to take effect. So to get started, I'm first just going to create a very simple widget. So I'm going to create a new folder. I'll call it Widget. I'll head inside here, then I'm just going to right click, go to User Interface, and select a Widget Blueprint. I'll just call this my example, Widget Blueprint. Let me open this up. And I'm just going to go to the palette and look for a canvas panel and just drag this in. Then I'm just going to look for some text and I'll drag it in. I'll just make this text a text and then I'm just going to look for a button and I'll also just drag two buttons in. And I'm also going to drag a text into each button. And if, say, I wanted to update all of the different texts so they have a different font, I'd have to manually select each text and then update its font. And if, say, I wanted to change how this button looks, I'd have to basically go to style and determine how it should look when it's pressed, when it's hovered, and when it's normal. And then if, say, I created another separate widget, I'd have to redo the whole process of creating a new button and a new text. What I'm going to show you in this video is how we can make it so I can just create this universal text widget and then I can add this text in all the UI elements of my project and then if say I decide I don't like the text in my game later on I'd easily be able to change it everywhere in my project and we'll do the same thing with buttons. So we'll go over how to make modular buttons so if say you want to change how all of the buttons in your game look you can do that. And we can have multiple modular text and multiple modular buttons. So to create the system, just create a new folder anywhere in your project. And I recommend that you call this folder styling. Then head inside this folder and we just want to right click, go to blueprint class, go over to all classes and look for common text. This is part of the common UI plugin. And we just want this one, the common text style. Select this and I'm just going to call this my common text underscore blueprint. I'll open it up and here I can basically decide the font of my text, how big it should be and the color it should be. So for the font I'm just gonna make it have the droid sans mono. I'm gonna make it 30 and I'm gonna change the color of this font to be let's say red. I'll go OK and then I'm just gonna go compile. Now if I just go back to my example widget blueprint I'm just gonna delete all these text elements Instead, what we want to look for is something called the common text. Drag it in. And if I just go over to style, I can select the common text blueprint and it's going to have the style that I set in the common text. So any common text that I add in my project, if I give it the um, common text blueprint, it's going to have the style that we set here. So let's say I'm not really happy with the color red. I could just change this to be green. I'll go compile and now it'll be green here. So this can be super helpful if you're working in a project 
and you want to basically change the text. And you can have multiple common texts. So if I just select this and I go Control D, that'll duplicate it. I'll call this common text BB1. I'll open this up and maybe I'll make this one blue and I could change the font to Roberto. I'll compile this. And maybe you want certain elements in your game to have a different type of font. Well, then I could just select common text BP1. So by using this, you can easily change the style of multiple text elements in your game without having to manually select each text. So this will save you time in the long run. We can also do a very similar thing with the buttons. We can design how we want each button to basically um, look when it's hovered, pressed, and disabled. And we can also decide if the button should say anything and what should happen when we click on the button. We can design the button in a modular way. So I'm going to go through that now. To do that, we just want to right click, go to Blueprint Class. We then just want to look for Common Button Style. Select this. I'll just call it my Common Button underscore Blueprint. If I open this up, I'm going to go to a normal base. There are a bunch more settings, but we're just going to focus on the main ones you'll probably use. And I'm just going to change it to this button should be this yellow color. And then when it's normal, it should be red. And then when it's pressed, it should just be white. I'll compile this. Then I just want you to right click, go over to Blueprint class, go over to all classes, and look for a common button base. And we want this one, the common button base. Select this and call this our base button blueprint. And if I just open this up, I'm going to go over to my palette and look for an overlay. Drag this overlay into the base button. And we can just resize this. So I'm just going to change this to custom on screen. And I'll make this 250 by 60. And then I'm just going to look for some common text. Drag this into your overlay. And then for the common text, select one of these styles that we made earlier. And then if I just select this base button blueprint, I can go to style and I can select my common button blueprint and it will inherit the properties that I set up in my common button blueprint. Nice. And then um, I think I'm just going to change my common text so it's black. But in order to make this element more dynamic, let's make sure that this is a variable. Go to our graph. And I'm actually just going to press F2 to rename this and call this my text. And drag it in. Get it. Drag off here and look for set text. Scroll down, we want this one. Set text text. Connect from event construct into here. And from event pre-construct into here. Right click on this and promote it to a variable. We can call this the in text. Make sure it's instance editable and go expose and spawn, and go compile. Now if I just go back to my example widget blueprint, I can look for my base button, and it will have all of the um, properties that I set up in my um, common, I have all of the properties that I set up in my base button, and if I want this to have some text, I could just make this say cat, and I'll say the words cat. And I want the text to be in the center, so I'm just gonna go back to my designer, and I'll just make this a text as a preview so I can see it. And I'll select here, center line, and center line vertically so that the text is in the middle of the screen. I'll go compile. Okay, let me just go to my graph and I'll make this text say text here. Then go compile. That way I just have a preview. And now I'll go over to my example widget. The um, text is in the center. But whatever I do here, it will affect here. So in this way, I've just made this universal button. And with this, when I click on this button, I can encode the logic about what I want this to happen. And if say I decide I don't like the color of this, I can easily just go to my common button and I can change it to be, let's say pink. I can go compile and that will change it everywhere. And there's even more we can do with this plugin. And this plugin also has a tip. It makes it a lot easier to add control compatibility to UI elements. If you'd like to learn more about that and how we can use this to create a professional main menu which has controlled compatibility and more, make sure to head over to my website to access that course. There'll be a link to my website in the description of this video. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!